Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Locus. We're here joined by Sunder, my software apprentice. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so <laughs> what deck did you play today? I played the uh, the deck that says no. The subterror deck. Yes, yes, yes. Featuring? Um, my matchups? No, featuring Dragoon, I meant. But <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, featuring Dragoon, indeed. Uh, he is a special guest. Uh, and. Uh, all right, so um, some facts about you. You used to be a Magic player. Um, yes, indeed. You were already, always close to the friend group anyway, but you decided to pick up Yu-Gi-Oh! a while ago. Uh, um, yes, I, I was. I had interest in Subterra Guru when, uh, when Sven played it. Uh, that was before Guru actually was the a, a card. The actual Subterra Master. The actual yeah. Subterra, I played it before it was cool. Yes, I know. Um, but I, it, it was just very interesting because it sa just said no a lot, and nobody read Fiendish, uh, yeah. which I found hilarious. Um, and then it, yeah, then I thought, y you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look if I want to play Yu-Gi-Oh again. And then Dragoon came out, and I looked at it, and I kept reading it until I, I would see an effect that had a downside, and then it didn't. And then I said, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play this. All right. So uh, yeah, let's go straight into the deck, and then we'll do some matchups. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a very complicated build. This. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You're very innovating as yeah, well, yeah, right? Yeah, very in innovative. So we got three uh, guru. Yeah, three guru okay. indeed. Uh, Interesting. Of different rarities. That's very important. Oh, really? To, yeah, yeah. To annoy your opponent, you uh, must play different versions. That's awful. Yes, and it is. Nice. Um, then the three fiendish. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just like the regular setup. Um, and we've got one archer. Yes. Uh, special gift from Enzo, my Japanese archer. You're actually jealous of this. Yeah, I want this. <laughs> I don't know why you got it. Uh, because I'm the better friend. He knows me longer. Whoa. Um, Whoa. Yeah, I don't play in my tricks in the main. Yeah. Uh, because I really, really, <laughs> really yeah, don't like opening draw. this card. Yeah. I agree. It it's every time I sided him in one in one game today. Oh, oh you're and. siding him? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yes. I, I thought it was funny. Well, then we play the. Uh, the, be the best boys. The best boys. I don't have like the shiniest rarities, but uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You're not gonna pay for cards you don't want to see. Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it, they're they're very good unless you open them. Then, then they they're, they're then they're still good. It's not as good. Um, then we go into the the really innovative part. Like no one plays these cards. Over. Yeah, two ogres. Uh, I, I just saw like a lot of field spells. Uh, that's that's why, what I what I go against. Those are my matchup. So then ghost ogre is actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, effect fader. Also three different rarities. Very yeah. important. Now you don't have impermanences yet, right? Uh, no, I do not. I would. Yeah, I would recommend playing impermanence. Uh, but the, the, these are just. They're they, fine. They do. They do very fine. Um, then the ashes, they don't do as much in this format as the other ones. Yeah. Um, but it's just, it's just good it's still a good card for yeah. locals as well. Yeah, yeah very. Well. Uh, and then three Nibiru's for the first time. I, I played in the main. Okay. Uh, was actually very not useful. <laughs> Because yeah. I didn't get those matchups or didn't get ah, them in my hand. Yeah. Or someone just discards a dinosaur against you and apparently you, you're, these cards don't do anything anymore. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's definitely a thing. Yeah. Okay. So for the spells. Yes. We got the four hidden city. Yes. Uh, yeah, nothing special about that. Uh, and the best card of the deck. Realized Fusion. It's not Cave Clash, which sure. yeah. Uh, no, 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 that's the second best because you can still open Cave Clash and you don't want to open it, which you do a lot. Are you playing it? Yeah, yes. Yeah, of course yes. I play it. Yes. You, it's, to everyone it, out there, you should still be playing this card in the deck. Yeah, especially when you play Umastrix, it's the only way you don't miss timing is that. With Guru, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it just misses timing on everything. And it's just really good if you just like uh, do, the, do, do the quick effect. Uh, so you can search this, you can uh, do the quick effect, and then you have Guru face down again, so you can search again. So yeah. it really doesn't matter. And uh, getting Fiendish back to your hand each time, that's not bad either. That's a good card. Uh, then I have the sadly now only one called by the grave. It just helps protecting the, uh, the Red Eyes Fusion. Yeah. Um, then these, this amazing card, Pot of Extravagance. I call it Pot of Greed with like very little downside. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, those were the spells set up. It's nothing really special. 
Uh, then for the traps, you got the... Uh, the full on no package. Yeah, yeah. So the, uh, it just, uh, it's just hilarious. Every time you activate it, you put it face down, and people just don't read the card. It's insane, because it, I played like this deck for like two years, and people still don't know what the hell these yeah, cards you, do. You, you got like the, the, the Triceratops that pops things. That, yeah, uh, Pancratops. Yeah, Pancratops, and people are like, yeah, I'm gonna wait <laughs> until I pop this. First, you're gonna attack your guru, and then you're like, alright, damage step, and then I'm gonna like, what? And then you combine attack and defense, and they're like, oh, and then they waste their Pancratops. Nice. It's really funny, it happened three times today. It's hilarious, they just don't learn. Uh, and it just does everything. Uh, and then the three solo. Uh, nice. And uh, three, there can be only ones in the main. Uh, first, there were three strikes in the main, and then uh, there can be only one in the side. But just with this format, you, you need to run those. Yeah, this is card is such a blowout now. Yeah, yeah, against dinosaurs, against dragons, against like the rocket builds. And everything. I like that you haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh like ever, but over the like last two months, you've learned so much already. Yeah, but it, it's because I play like the counter deck, I guess. And I, I'm, I'm not new to card games, and I've played Yu-Gi-Oh before, like. Seven years ago, when, uh, yeah, when we had cool cards like Light Sword. <laughs> um, then for the extra deck, I've got three relevant cards. Nice. Three semi, -re uh, two semi relevant cards. Okay. And then weird, old, super polarization oh targets. Uh, we got a, a, a Cyber Dragon player here, so you know <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> And I got, actually, um, if no one gets a dart for me, I can actually make Link Karibo by one of my hand traps. Fair enough. And then I can make one of these guys, with, like the super poly. It's like, like an if, 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 if thing, but if it works, it works. If it comes up. Yeah, yeah, and, and your opponent's like, well, what, what just happened? I don't know. Like, I had fun. Uh, some good philosophy. <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, I said they had fun. No, no, they play against some people. They just don't have fun. Um, then for the extra check, we've got uh, one for Tasme or Thanos, as we call him. Uh, one only? Only one. Uh, do, you have a, do you have two? I do have okay. two. Okay, interesting. Yes, but um, as you might have noticed, if you counted my cards, I have a 41 card deck because you and me could not decide what goes out. So yeah. this is a 14 card side deck, people. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, or else I would have uh, put an extra one of these. Oh, in. yeah, exactly. Uh, then we've got the Umastrix in here. Uh, there are very, very few things that, that I need, that, that I really wanted, I wanted in the main deck. But if you main this, uh, you open it in your hand. It's yeah, impossible not to. And then law. you also open your archer to search him, but it's in your hand. So. Murphy's law, if you can't draw a trick, you will draw a yes. Uh Then the one Pankratovs, it just helps out going second. Yeah. Uh, then I will... Uh, apparently, I play these, but I open this. Yeah, that's uh, how it works. Yeah, I played uh, Burning Abyss. So, uh, Terra Top, Toka um, same, same thing here. Yeah, that's, it's just true. Yes. Uh, then, because everyone's playing back row and uh, we got Mystic Mind players here, uh, which I do not like. Uh, so we just play this uh, against the zombie decks. This is actually very good because you just banish the cards. They just don't get anything out of it again, so they can't just loop their entire deck, uh, which is great. Then my Super spicy one, super poly. One. Yes, it is one. <laughs> Only one. It is one. <laughs> oh my god. It's great. I was starting to like the deck as well. Uh, no, you're not. Uh, <laughs> then we got the Beschwörungslimits. Uh, Why don't you just play two super poly? I don't get it. Uh, where's your 15th card? Where's my 15th sleeve? Oh my god. <laughs> this, this guy. This guy. That's why I don't. I got, I, I got more, but you know. <laughs> Just, and if it works, it works, it works, it works. If so, it works, uh, it works. What yeah. were your matchups today? Uh, I had the most amazing matchup game one, uh, the bye. He was nice. very tough, but we got him in the end. I just thought of Leon, and it just worked. Um, then I played against dinosaurs, and uh, I've never played against dinosaurs. Then uh, I was pretty good. And then he just discarded one dinosaur from his hand, and then uh, he played a card that says, I cannot activate cards. Yeah. And uh, I was like, oh, that's tough. Game two, I opened my two normals, as you do. Uh, mm. Cave Clash, and then two Phoenix. Mm. And I was like, well, 
All right. That's Great. a good. Uh, that's a nice. Uh, and then, then, then he won again, but uh, I went better than him in the tournament anyway, so I don't care. Yeah, that's true. Um, then I played against the um, zombie deck with uh, Eldrick Dogmatica. Yes, indeed. Uh, which I've actually played a few times against, also against you, I believe. Yeah. Um, so I, I I knew kind of what this deck did, um, and just. Keep the back row in, in, in check and uh, don't get insert too much. And, like, yeah, really that's exactly how it works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I've played against or my my favorite opponent, Bruce. Uh, Plunder Patrol. Plunder Patrol. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty easy matchup for you. Yeah, I got it's it's really tough for them, and especially when you bring, uh, bring in the back row removal and you're like. Uh, uh, Guru especially, just flipping their cards face down to negate their entire like attack boost that they gain from that yeah, field exactly. spell, it's just so dumb. Yeah, pretty good matchup. Alright, cool. Anything else you want to add to that? Uh, yeah, if you play against this deck, uh, hit your opponent in the face, they'll have <laughs> half their brain cells left and then they won't know how to counter you. You're indicating that a software player has any brain cells at all. Uh, do we have some. Some. Because we need to flip the cards and then we need to search the cards. That requires a few things because we have choices to make. Quote unquote choices. Yeah, choices. Alright, thank you for the quick deck profile and uh, I'm sure we'll see you soon. Bye guys. So.